Bob the Bob the fencer here had just been asked to uh, replace a fencing rail in an existing fence line. Tree's fallen down on it, so I've chopped the tree off it. It's broken both of the ends of the of the rail away from the locating pins. I've tried to remove the pin by pulling it out with me locking pliers, no good. So I've got a little hand hacksaw and I'm gonna saw the pin off at, at the uh, at the post. I've got my new rail that I'm gonna put in and I'll show you how we do that in a few seconds or minutes. See ya. So I've put a little groove in the pin and I got my wire strainers, put the handle on the, the pin and break it off. So it's flush with the post, okay? So I put the new post, new rail on the uh, existing pin on the one end and where I'd cut off the other end, the pin, I've set the rail on my little brackety arrangement and I've set it up with the staples, like I've mentioned before, so that everything's in line. Okay. Sorry, but I couldn't hold the uh, phone and the chainsaw and cut off the end of the post. So you can see I've cut it off so that there's a little bit of a of a tightness. So it's and the other end, which is clear, is clear of the rail. So when I push it together like that everything tightens up okay then what we're going to do is drill up from the bottom and put the pin in at an angle from the bottom up up into the post next to the old pin that broke off so we're just going to drill up from the bottom and hammer in another 10 mil pin and that'll support the whole thing and we'll have a fence that's in line with the original fence line and a replacement in the middle of the fence that was originally there. So I've drilled the hole and I've put a pin in and the pin's gone right up into that post and I'll just hammer it in until it's flush and therefore we now have a repaired post and rail fence.